Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol HMNY. That's Helios and Matheson Analytics. The chart we have today is a five minute chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing five minutes of trading. And let me just say that this stock went crazy today. I'm assuming you guys all saw this if you're watching this video that you saw the movement today. But if you didn't, just take a look. We can see that we had about $2 here before the run really took off. And uh, on this chart, we're just looking at the real insane run that occurred. But just know that uh, this stock opened at about $1.25. And uh, before all this volume even poured in, it was already up like 100% before the rest of the market really noticed it. So it was up about 100%. And then we had this crazy run. All this volume poured in and this thing just flew. So always when we have a runner that is um, up such a high percentage, there's a good chance that it will run the next day. Of course, there's also a chance that it just falls flat and dies the next day. But let's kind of plan out how we would play this if we, if we um, do see a run tomorrow. So we have these main areas to look at, 957, 860, 780, and 680. These are our pivot points, areas of support or resistance or vice versa. As we know in technical analysis, places that are support can become resistance and resistance can become uh, support. So that's why we're gonna take a look at those areas and those are gonna be key areas to take a look at. So we have the high of $10, but I'm not considering that support just yet since we only tested it once. The real support was this 957 area all up here. 957 was a really tough area to break. And when we did break above it, you can see almost every candle closed either on 957 or closed right below it. So the highest area of resistance is 957 right now. And I would just like to also say that this stock hasn't traded above $6 since 2014. So it's made an insane amount of gains today, especially in comparison to the price range that it's been in the last few years. The next area, $8.60. You can see we had some resistance there, some support here, support, 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 and then resistance, resistance. So 860, very viable pivot point. $7.80, support, I'm sorry, resistance, support, support. And then we had a little bit of rough support here. It did dip down below, but obviously you can see that it did end up breaking the support there anyways. So it was mostly just testing it, uh, $6.80. We have some resistance and then all the support there once again became resistance, support, resistance, support, and then support. So 680 also very much a pivot point. And I just realized I'm missing one area here, that area being $5.50. So let's put that on the chart right now. $5.50. Let's kind of get that to match the right color scheme though. There we go. So $5.50 is our final support level. And you can see we had some good action here, a lot of resistance before we turned to support. And that's the only area that we tested it as support besides um, you know, these candles here, since we just moved out of that range right after that happened. So planning for tomorrow, let's watch how the pre-market and after hours is. But just know that each time we hit one of these pivot points, you can potentially get an entrance there because if it breaks above, then you have a good chance of running to the next channel or at least channeling around here. And if it does channel above where you bought in, you can always sell for a profit if you don't like the movement. So that obviously would mean that the next area that we could get in is about $7.80. Unless we break down below $6.80, then we can try to get in at $6.80. Now that holds true for every single one of these pivot points. Of course, this also depends on what the pre-market does. This was our close here. So for all I know, the pre-market might run all the way to 10 bucks again, and we'd have to rechart everything. But based on the data that we have now, these will all be viable areas to enter. And if you enter there, you're limiting your downside because if the channel does break to the downside, you can get out with a very minimal loss and your upside is a potential gain to $10 or even 9.57 if you wanna be more conservative, play it up from 7.80 to 9.57, get out up there, then maybe wait to see if it tests 10 bucks. If it tests 10, you're always able to re-enter and you have already made some profits. So that's what I recommend doing. I don't really have any price targets for this stock since the movement was so insane today. You know, it was up over 400%, what was it, 
up over 500 percent uh i think at one point it was actually almost up a thousand percent when it was above ten dollars since it opened at about a dollar 25 it was just about a thousand percent runner there absolutely insane so that's what i recommend playing this this sort of volatility is always a real dangerous stock to play so i definitely would want to play this on support lines really minimizing my downside while maximizing my upside and of course that is the goal of every day trader to minimize your risk while maximizing your potential rewards. So just keep in mind with a stock like this, it's a very risky stock to play. So buying on a support area is probably the best way to go unless you're just a full on YOLO or a full on gambler. But I never recommend that kind of strategy. I always like to minimize my risk and I hope that you guys like to do that as well. Of course, you're welcome to do your own trading strategy. We all have our own trading strategies, but I think that that is probably the most logical way to go about trading this stock tomorrow. So. That's all I have to say about HMNY. I will definitely be watching this tomorrow morning. And if you guys play this, I wish you the best of luck. Let's all make some good money. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.